So this one, this specimen shows the cranial cavity. Cranial cavity is divided, floor of the cranial cavity is divided into three depressions, anterior cranial fossa, middle cranial fossa and the posterior cranial fossa. Anterior and middle cranial fossa is separated by the lesser wing of sphenoid and middle and posterior cranial fossa is separated by superior border of petrous temporal. In the anterior cranial fossa, if we can see on each side the orbital plate of frontal bone. In the frontal bone anteriorly we can see this frontal air sinus. So this is a frontal air sinus. And the midline we see crystagalli. It gives attachment to fox cerebri. On each side of the crystagalli we can see this cribriform plate of ethmoid which transmits the olfactory nerves. Behind it this region is known as jugum spinoidal. Behind it this region is the body of spinoid into it we find a pituitary fossa for the pituitary gland. On each side of it anteriorly we see the optic canal for the optic nerves. This is the optic nerve. Just beside it we can see the lumen of the internal carotid artery. On each side of the body of spinoid this region is related to the cavernous sinus, one of the significant sinus in the middle cranial fossa. On each side of it this region occupied by the temporal lobe of the brain. Here we can see the oculomotor nerve going to the orbit. Here we can see the abducent nerve. Trochlear nerve is a very slender nerve, it is not seen in this specimen. We can see the trigeminal nerve here entering into the trigeminal cave. Behind it here we can see the 7th and 8th cranial nerves going through the internal acoustic meatus. Below it we can see here 9, 10 and 11 now cranial nerves together. And lower part in the foramen magnum here we can see the hypoglossal nerve. Within the foramen we can see the spinal cord which is continuation of medulla oblongata. On each side in the posterior cranial fossa this part is occupied by the cerebellar hemispheres. So these are the features which are seen in this particular cranial cavity. Everywhere you can see this particular part is dura mater. It is closely applied to the cranial cavity, is the floor of the cranial cavity. So these are structures which you see in the cranial cavity.